Hello again, this is Jojo Lizard with Lizard Gaming, and this is part of the segment Lizard Does Demos. And today, we are going to be playing City Quest. And as always, I have the story that you can find on the Steam store page for this game. Welcome back the past with City Quest, a powerful love letter to the adventure games of yesteryear. Follow a simple farmer boy as he tries to make a name for himself in the big city. Players can enjoy four storylines, Hobo, Mafia, Politician, and Lady of the Night, each with their own unique cast of misfits to help you along the way, as well as several different endings for each. Packed with often offensive and always absurd humor, will we like that? This game will tickle the funny bone and anger the gods. Don't know about the last part, but okay if it tickles the funny bone. And this is an adventure indie game. Stone Monkey Studios is who put this game out, and it was published, or sorry, released August 20th, 2015. It's $9.99 on Steam, and um, as I said in a previous video, I love Steam trading cards, and this game has Steam trading cards. I, I just, I can't get over Steam trading cards. I love them too much. I don't know why. Like I said, just something. So without further ado, here we go. This here big city plane has been in the air for nearly three hours now. Much too long. Scream your <laughs> scream your hillbilly sensibilities. This plane is in flight from Alabingham, <laughs> North Texalina, and it sits a country bumpkin out to see <laughs> and on it sits a country bumpkin out to see the world. That bumpkin is you. <laughs> your quest is to make it into the big city. This is your story. Try not to die too much. Click to continue. Oh boy. Pins and needles. That was a mighty long flight and your legs are numb. You should walk around a bit to shake off the pins and needles. Select the walk icon then click in the scene to walk around. So I guess that's walk. It's supposed to be cartoony and everything but wow this kind of kind of crazy, but again, I guess it's also supposed to be yesteryear too. Orientation. Your legs are feeling better, but you have no idea where you're going. Have a look at that directory over there. Select the look icon, then click the directory object. Looky-loo! <laughs> so there's a gate, there's bags, toilets, and info. Tummies are rumbling. Now you know where baggage claim is, but you're feeling a bit hungry, so... I guess you should find somewhere to graze. Walk to the edge of the screen for a door to move between scenes. So click and then go over here. Tough choices. Wow, so many choices. Back home your choices were slop or feed. <laughs> Actually it doesn't look much different. Click the face icon then click on a person to talk to them. Try it on one of these food paddlers. Let's get some, I guess that's supposed to be maybe McDonald's there? I'm not sure. Let's try Bugger Town. <laughs> Two lips, okay? Don't Welcome to Burger Town, ho home of the town Burger. Sorry, Burger Town. Can I take your order, please? One triple bacon, Swiss, and onion town burger, please. Wow. One meat mountain and a side of meat fries, please. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna. Yes, we're gonna go with this one. Here's your burger. Have a burger-tastic day. Appease the tummy god. Looks like it's made of grease and cardboard. Tasty, tasty cardboard. You can eat the food by clicking the face icon, then clicking on it in your inventory. So there, and then the burger. Appease the tummy god again. You ravenously devoured the food stuff. It is flavorless, flavorless, but filling. Oh, trashed. Hmm. Better get rid of that filthy wrapper. Maybe in a trash can, or, you know, wherever. <laughs> you can give an item to someone or place an item somewhere by first clicking the hand icon, then the inventory icon, and finally clicking a person, place, or thing in the scene. So, hand, trash, trash can. Baggage. Full and no longer burdened by trash, you figure it's about time to grab your bag. Grab a cab and get to the city. I'm sure baggage claim is around here somewhere. Special education. Okay, so let's keep going, I guess. Uh, there's the bathrooms. Maybe I have to go through the bathrooms. 
No, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Well, if this isn't a little bit confusing, let's do the face one with him. Old woman. The old woman eats as one who has recently been violated. She must have just come through security. <laughs> huh. Interesting. What's back here? Nothing. Okay, so... Oh, no. Okay, how do we get to baggage? Ah, okay, just gotta click down a bit. Maraha Babu. There's a short man garbed in the finery of the exotic east. Okay. There's baggage claim. Is that mine? No. In flames, that burning bag was most definitely yours. Oh, how unfortunate. Maybe someone at the airport can reimburse you because clearly this was not your fault. How sad. Irritated man. This well dressed man keeps attack or keeps checking his watch and sighing. He must be waiting for someone. Oh, that's outside. Don't want to go back inside. I need to or I need to go back inside. Can't go without my baggage. Luggage. What is this? Hot and rowdy? Oh, it's a barista. Okay. And that's a very popular place, it appears. Information, there we go. Information booth attendant. This is an attractive woman dressed in a sharp blue blouse. She looks more friendly than anyone you've met on your travels thus far. So let's talk to her then. Hi there, how can I help you? Yes, my luggage just burst into flames. Oh my, that's not good. Unfortunately, that qualifies as an act of God, so there's not much I can do. But the rest of my money was in that bag. Well, I can offer you a cab voucher, but that's the best I can do. <laughs> Escape from the airport. You've had enough of this airport. There is nothing left for you here but death and sorrow. <laughs> Time to find a cab and get out of here. Avoid the clown, or whatever it is. Where are you going, pal? Wherever this will get me. Hand him voucher. Never mind, I'll come back later. Hand him voucher. Hop in, boyo. Get in cab. Probably down the street somewhere. <laughs> oh, maybe it is a long journey. Okay. Oh, okay, so click to go forward. Oh, this looks appealing. Well, here's your stop, bub, but this doesn't look like a very nice neighborhood. I'll get, I'll get stabbed here. <laughs> Say this. Yeah, well, this is as far as that voucher will get you. Welcome to Hooklin. Well, I think we can all assume what there is. Uh, silent dignity. Let's go for that. Sleep disorder. Well, that's some bad luck. It's getting late. Best find a place to sleep. What an exciting adventure. Going to Joe's. Uh, barely broke. One alcohol, please. Let's say. Sorry, you're cute, but I don't do free drinks. Aww. Let's talk to. Uh, hotel down the street. I can't afford a hotel. Well, I might be able to help you out, but I'll need a favor first. Oh gosh, of course you do. What is it? Anything. Jimmy pulls out a small paper bag. Here, deliver this to that scummy politician down the street. You shouldn't have any trouble finding him. Got it, I'll check back. Alright, he needs a place to stay, so let's do this. Is this the politician? I doubt it. Hmm. 
Hmm. I guess I could be a hobo, but I don't really want to do that, so... I don't know, but I mean, it looks like I might be getting in with the Mafia right now. <laughs> well, let's do that. Let's let's go ahead and try to find this politician still. Um, I'm guessing that's not going to be him. <laughs> Maybe here? I admire your dedication to pacing, sir. Nothing, never mind. I understand you need to focus, sorry. Good chat, let's do this again sometime. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so, oh, wow, okay. That's that's different. Nope, don't want the park. Maybe I have to go to the park. Oh boy, this, this could be bad. I could get mugged here. Hmm. Well, I guess it's either up that way. Come on, where's the politician at? Well, this is kind of hard to do. It's, it doesn't actually give you an area to click. You just kind of have to get in the same kind of vicinity of it. Hey buddy, can I help you? What's going on here? Oh, big construction projects, I tell you. Me and my brothers are improving our infrastructure all over the city. Anyways, you can't go that way. Uh, same thing. Can't go that way. Okay, well, then maybe he's back this way and I just missed him. I really hope he wasn't that one, like, sitting in the street anyway. I don't think it's that guy. Let's talk to him and see. Joe's been good to me, I tell ya. It's his birthday. I told Mojo to give me one on the house being a special day and all. Do you know what he told me? Honestly, I have no idea. Don't, neither do I. It was a hoot though, no doubt. Well, anyway, he pours me a beer or five. All that asking for a dime. That Joe, what a good guy. You're a funny guy. Here we go. Shout loudly at the hobo or leave him. Or pee, pee on him. Let's just shout loudly. Does nothing. Well, let's pee on him then. Anything? Nothing. Okay. Oh, it looks like we might have a bit of a glitch here. Yeah, it looks like it. Been abandoned in the hookland. In the dead of night, you should probably find a place to sleep. Well, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Free clinic there. Must be down the street here. Okay, well there's more construction, so I can't go that way. Join the rat party. Maybe this is the politician. The man gives you a practice toothy smile. Why, hello there, young- Yes, here he is, young voter. How can I help you? Yeah, I have a delivery from Jimmy. I'm looking for a place to sleep. Why is there a big rat on your window? You can't, no one can. Let's give him this. <laughs> he hurriedly grabs the bag from you. Yes, yes, thank you very much, son. Is there anything else I can do for you? No. It's a place to sleep. The man cuts you off. Well, my name is Joseph Sinclair, and I'm running for mayor of this fine city. I'm very sympathetic to the plight of the homeless, of course, and I'd love to help you out. Huh. Okay, well, wow, really? That's great, or and in return. Here we go. Oh, you're a sh sharp one, aren't you? I'll cut to the chase. My old campaign assistants were 
while deported. Oh boy. So I could use an extra hand. Do a few, a few small favors for me and you can sleep on the cot in the back room. Deal or seem shady I'm in or nope or leave. So let's do seem shady I'm in. Wonderful. Here, go hand these flyers out to folks in the neighborhood for starts and come back here. Alright. Looks like I'm doing flyers then. Uh, I guess I can't give him a flyer. But I can him. If he's elected, what will this just Claire do to fix our public schools? He'll get rid of him. Loot him to line his own pockets. <laughs> Get rid of them. A strictly privatized school system. That'll save the taxpayers millions. You don't have kids, do you? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, another one. He's elected. What will he do? Um, this is that drunk guy. So let's do... He'll get rid of them. Okay, so maybe that's what they want to hear. Rid of them. Okay, I got two more. Rat party. I'm a staunch supporter of the two party system, kid. Besides, it's clear that my party has all the good things about this rat party and none of the bad. I admire your stubbornness. You're just the worst kind of person. Stubbornness. Why not? Okay, one more. Maybe that hobo will want one. <laughs> you tuck a flyer in the hobo's pocket. He does not seem to have a strong opinion for or against Mr. Sinclair. <laughs> it's probably because he's dead. Uh, okay, return to the rat's nest. You've delivered all the flyers for Sinclair, and most of the people didn't spit at you. I'd call that success. Time to head back to base. Back we go. This is actually pretty interesting. <sighs> Gotta go this way and talk to him. Okay. I've delivered all the flyers. Wonderful, just wonderful. Have you won me lots of new votes? Oh yes, sir, the people love you. Uh, uh, yes, sir, the people um, love you, I guess. <laughs> Let's see that. Yes, that's about the response I expected. <laughs> this evening isn't all a wash, though. I've just learned that we'll be hosting a few party bigwoods this evening. The impress them will have much stronger backing from the party. That's wonderful. What can I do to help? I get the feeling I'm not going to get to sleep yet, am I? One more favor, son, and then you can rest. We need a place to entertain. We need party favors, and we need some female companionship. Can you manage that? <laughs> uh, I guess I could get off the crazy train now, or handle that. Yeah, I can handle that. Wonderful. Come back if you've got any questions. Okay. So, first... Okay, so I need to book a room get party favors, in quotes, and find lady companions. Alright, let's... Um, party favors, I'm guessing. I have a hard time with. Unless I go here. Maybe. Uh, we got the other way while I steal food. I will not know. Also, <laughs> with that security camera. Okay, well. Oh, so I just stole. And it got me. An apple. Well, that's not bad. Well, that's, I mean, stealing is obviously bad, but. <laughs> at least I got something. And I guess this looks like flowers? Looking for now. <laughs> um, I think a, a Venus flytrap just. <laughs> as your head slips down the creature's gullet, you think you hear it moan Seymour. But how could that be? It's just a plant. That would be silly. Click to load last save. Well, 
Obviously, I won't be stealing from that flower shop <laughs> unless I go here to steal. Okay, well, that doesn't work. That's That was pretty funny. <laughs> ah, here's an idea. Maybe I can give it the, the an apple. Let's try that. Ah, uh, what would that accomplish? No, nothing, I guess. Okay, let's go to our friend here. Uh, cover your sudden obvious tint of shame. Never mind. 100 gets you an hour in the hotel. 30 gets you 10 minutes. Dollars, that's too much money, and people pay for it. Yeah, I don't have that kind of money. Well, if you're willing to run a few errands for me, I might be able to help you out. Oh, boy. Fine. I've got this regular customer. He usually visits a few times a week and always steps well, but I haven't seen him in weeks. I need you to go find out why he hasn't been coming by. He's a greasy mob type, tends to dress pretty nicely. His name's Jimmy. He talks about Joe's a lot. Maybe you can find him down there. Okay, maybe that was this guy down here. Unless it's him. No, okay. Not him. Maybe this guy. Um, okay, maybe not. That's the hobo guy. Push on it a bit. Proves to be a very inefficient way of opening the door. <laughs> Okay, so that has to be Jimmy there. Deliver, deliver the goods. That was our uh, campaign contribution. We like to cover our base with these things. Who's we? We're the ones that own this town, kid. You want something done in the city? You come to us. Uh, what, the mob? Well, that's... That word is dripping with stereotype, he says as he slicks back his greasy hair. We tend to prefer the more politely, politically correct term, organized criminal syndicate. That's awesome. I want in. That's great. So about that bed. Okay. Yeah, sure. Just one more thing. Okay, now I can talk to him about her. Because he is brow. Yeah, I know who you mean. What does she want? She wants to know when you're coming to visit again. Well, not that it's any of your business, but I've got myself a new lady. You can tell her I won't be visiting again anytime soon. Ooh, boy. Actually, I'd like to discuss some business. I'm looking for something called party favors. Lots of them. <laughs> One unit of legal substance, please. Wait, many units. Actually, I've lost my nerve. Leave. Party favors. Right, this one just flew right over your head, didn't it? Psh, I know exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> Maybe. Sure, whatever you say. I can send someone to meet you in a bit. Actually, it's not for me. He sighs audibly. I don't care who it's for. Have them meet in the hotel down the street. One hour. Thanks. Okay. Have you ever been a politician's anything <laughs> or plaything? She throws her drink in your face. She's so not interested then. <laughs> she slaps you. I'm just going to leave. Wow, okay. <laughs> what else is here? Anything? Oh, okay. So, Oh, it's just the bathroom here. This is proving to be pretty funny. Love tester. This machine claims to rate your love abilities. You wonder if it's accurate. It just blew up. Oh boy. You should probably not touch that. You might make it worse. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright. Let's go to the hotel now. Well, let's tell her that that the lady on the sidewalk, shall we say. She talked to Jimmy. He said he's not coming back. Actually, this is about something else. 
Shame Daddy's not gonna be happy about that. Um, he's my manager, and my protection is not safe to be so out here. Gotcha. Be very grateful if you find me three new customers. Grateful enough to let you sleep in my hotel room tonight. By the way, my name is Sugar. Deal. Also, your name is stupid. <laughs> um, no. Alright, let's see if we can get her to the politician's place. A group job for you. Oh boy. Hmm, group job, huh? Well, I tend to leave jobs like that for the rookies. I could get a few of them down here for you, though. Okay. You got it, honey. Cool, so I got the place then. So Cheap Hotel, your face briefly comes intimate with the <laughs> hotel that probably has never has probably seen its fair share of this sort of thing. Gotta quit hitting the doors with my face. It's not good. <laughs> Room discreetly. Discreetly. And I have guests from the decor, but most of our clientele desire discretion. I assure you it's not a problem how you will be paying. Happy thoughts and butterflies. I will not. Oh, really? Well, then who will? This is none of your concern. Joseph said, um, no one. That is not me. Ah, Sinclair, sure, you can have his usual room. As long as he leaves the motor oil at home this time. What? That stuff is such a mess. That can be done. <laughs> Our water-based substances are... <laughs> I'll ask. As long as he lays down some plastic this time and leaves a better tip. Done and done. <laughs> okay, party perfect. You've played Sinclair's little scavenger hunt. Now it's time to collect your prize. Uh, wow. <laughs> Alright, let's go back then. Back to the politician place. The rap party, which is unsettling. It's kind of glitched in a few places. That's not terrible. Well, are all the arrangements made? Yes, sir. The hotel will be ready when you arrive. Perfect. Uh, get bored and walk away? Yes, okay. Wonderful, my boy. Wonderful. I'm sure you're worn out or off this running. True to my word, you can lay down for a spell in the back room. Finally, have fun at your party. Can I come along? Get bored and walk away. Have fun at your party. <laughs> oh, we shall. Sleep tight, son. We'll speak again when you wake. Thanks. Okay, so there's the cot, I guess. <laughs> Jumps into bed. The woman. Upon rising from your slumber and allowing your blurry vision to clear, you find a woman on the floor. Best ask Mr. Sinclair about that one. Well, that's not good. Oh, man. Come on. Okay. Hey, my boy. That sure was a wild party last night. I hoped you slept well. Listen, if you've got some time, I've got a favor to ask. I suspect it has something to do with that woman. Will do. Ah, you noticed her, huh? She sure was, is, I mean, is a partier. Huh? She, uh, tuckered herself out, uh, herself right out last night. Oh, poor thing, how can I help? Oh, boy. This doesn't sound good. Well, you see, this is a reputable place of business, and I, uh, need her to go sleep off this hangover somewhere else. I completely understand. Oh, this could get bad. Okay, I completely understand. Great. Well, hmm, why don't you grab that rat party banner over there in the corner and wrap her up to uh, keep her warm, then bring her somewhere quiet. Oh, no. Somewhere quiet. Do I really want to get involved with dead bodies? <laughs> All right. Maybe under a tree in the park. Someone's bound to find her there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Okay. See, Mr. Sinclair, or G. Mr. Sinclair, you thought of everything. I guess... I guess I'll do this. <laughs> Poor you sure are gullible, uh, I mean helpful. Think I'll keep you around for a while. Why don't you take care of the girl and come back here? It will do. This is not going to be good. I gotta get that banner. This could be bad. <laughs> Uh, 
slumbering woman. You sling the woman over your shoulder at gently. Time to bring her to the park and let her sleep under a tree. <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> Alright, go to the park now. I still have this apple. I wonder, if, I wonder what I can do with this. Takes forever to get to the park. How did I get up there last time? There, it's right. Okay. Uh, it says I can't put that there. We put her here. Hmm. It says it doesn't go there, but... Ah, oh, okay. There. Sleeping Beauty. Your mission was a rousing success. Sleeping Beauty has been laid to rest under a nice willow tree. Hmm. Laid to rest. Kind of sounds like she's dead. Words, huh? Anyway. But her tell Sinclair. This is definitely interesting. So it looks like I'm working with a dirty politician. Just great. But at least he's making something of himself. Can we go to the free clinic? No. Okay. What's back there? Oh, I guess we can't get there. Hmm. Did you take care of the girl, son? Yes, sir. She's sleeping soundly under a tree. Good, my boy, good. Can't wait to hear the news on this one. The news that she made it home fine, of course. Yeah, I knew that's what you meant. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you did. Anyway, you did a good job. How'd you like to officially be my intern? You'll help with all the little things and even some of the big ones. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> I'd love to. Are you going to call me Monica? I'm done talking to you. Wow. Okay, let's go with, are you going to call me Monica? <laughs> what? No, I've already got a Monica. Anyway, do you want the job or not? Sure. Let's go with sure. I thought you might. Let's get right down to business. I got a speech to give soon, and I'd love your help. I'd love you to help me write it. Okay, as long as I don't actually have to write it. Oh, <sighs> excuse me. Oh, no, no, no. The speech is mostly written. I just need someone to help me with a few final touches. Can you do that for me? Yes, I can. Oh, wow. Okay, speech time. Help Sinclair finish his speech by clicking on the words you'd like him to use. Make his speech a rousing success, and he'll surely take you to greatness. Wow. Okay. I don't even know what I picked. I think I picked criminals. Common criminals? I'm not sure. So let's go with a noun. Um, hmm. Just an animal. Units of time. Years. Um, ooh. Ferrets. Average citizens. Let's do average citizens. Adjective. Self-serving, really complicated, awesome, fun, simple, expensive. Really complicated. Verb. Hmm. Set fire to <laughs> What in the heck is going on? Noun. Um. I wonder why these two are different shades. Let's go with Bill of Rights. My fellow criminals. <laughs> Today I have come to speak to you honestly about the animal problem this city is experiencing. For the past several years, the average citizens have been holding us hostage, <laughs> but I have a plan to free us once and for all. If you elect me, I vow to fix this problem. My plan is really complicated. We set fire to the Bill of Rights. Wow. Thank you, Vote Sinclair. <laughs> Wow. Well, that seemed to go well. <laughs> the crowd seemed to love Sinclair. Though he didn't really seem to say anything meaningful. I wonder what's next. <laughs> this is a bit weird. I'm, um, 
I'm not sure about this game. I mean, it's definitely funny, but it's definitely weird, too. Hey there, that's my star intern. Great job on the speech writing. Ready for some big news? I grow tired of you. <laughs> yes, sir, tell me. Well, son, the Rat Party bigwigs had such a good time here that they've invited me to, uh, to the downtown headquarters. I'd like you to come with me. Cool. Great, pal. There's a car waiting outside, ready to take you downtown. Go hop in when you're ready to leave. I'll uh, meet you downtown. This doesn't sound good. I got a few things to do first, or can do. This could be bad. This could be very bad. Ready to roll, pal? You bet. Let's get out of here. Say so you look familiar. I have no idea what you're talking about, so are we leaving or what? Um. Okay, I'm gonna go against my better judgment and say, let's go. Aw, oh, man. Cliffhanger. That is not fair. Oh, that was that was actually pretty pretty entertaining. It definitely made me laugh. So who knows? This might be one that we end up buying just to see how it goes. Uh, so <laughs> that's a city quest, and again, it's 9.99 on Steam. It has Steam trading cards, which obviously is a big draw for me. I, I'm so sad. I know. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here since we got to the end of the demo. And uh, look for my other videos. And like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any ideas of any demos that you'd like to see me play, be sure to let me know. Just comment and tell me about it and we'll see what we can do for you. So until next time, have fun gaming. Bye.